Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, I don't really have anything quippy to say or anything like that. I'm just going to say it like this. Patch 7.2.5 is finally here, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is June 13th, 2017, and it's now 10:08 in the PM Central Time. Thanks so much for thanks so much for joining us from around the Blizzard <laughs> universe. And hello, uh, my name is Pat Crane. I'm the host of this uh, show, and as always, the players are here uh, from the Lords of the Storm podcast, all about Heroes of the Storm. It's Gizmo. This is hey. uh, th that was for Dan. He said that when I go up too high. He's like, uh, he's like, that's really annoying. So I'm <laughs> now I'm going to introduce everybody today in the low voice. So, so no, no more. It's Gizmo. It's Gizmo. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, you got to do the fake out then. It's not, Gizmo. It's Gizmo. There we go. Uh, hi, buddy. Hey. <laughs> nice to see you. All right, and. From Adults with Jobs and Jorbs, the Asparagus Initiative, Ermager Defensive, and lots of other places around the the uh, CTR Guild, it's Sharku. Yeah. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Dan, I decided to take your suggestion in a different direction. I really appreciate it, but... No, I'm sorry. Right. I had to. No, that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally cool. That's, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm that's so fun. happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're we alive. We got new content. I know. I'm not dying of uh, the the worst the, cold uh, I've ever had. The pox. Anymore. Yes. The you're pox. Not dying of dysentery anymore. So the the no con crud. I didn't even go to E3 or anything. I'm just sitting uh, here, you know, just yeah. getting regular sick. Speaking of E3, Dude, all I think do? about is fighting hippos right now. Underwater. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway even know. it's good to have you guys here. It's good to see you. It's good to see everybody in Twitch chat. And I'm, I'm glad that uh, everybody's joining us from all over the place. So uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, fellas, let's talk a little bit, not about being sick, not about uh, 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 whether or not we have or whether we whether or not we have had to shave our entire head. <laughs> over this last week but let's talk about what we've been doing in gaming uh over the last week or so giz what's been going on with you buddy oh, i've been so much gaming happening pat so much <laughs> so um, much you know, I, I hit the big old reset button so uh which took a little bit longer than i was expecting so yeah. gaming was limited especially this weekend but uh my my baby is up running again smooth uh, so I was able to get into some heroes. Unfortunately, World of Warcraft didn't finish installing uh, until about an hour before the show. Wow. Um, That's but good. It's going to be beautiful now. And I can yeah. stream again, which is my big thing because I've missed doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to stream not only Heroes of the Storm, but some Warcraft as well. Patch 7.2.5. Which we're going to get into in a lot uh, coming up here momentarily because there is... It's not a major patch, but it's a cool minor patch, uh, mm -hmm. especially if, if you are working on alts or if you are kind of behind the times. It's actually a very lovely patch for those those folks. Um, Shark, uh, yes. how about you? How is Asparagus Initiative doing? Well, Zug, the Asparagus <laughs> yes. Initiative formed how what is it five weeks ago maybe we something had our like first that. raid something like that. uh never raided together some guys on the team never raided before at our at all maybe outside wow. of lfr um we got together we got started our first week we cleared normals pretty easily yep 
Second week, we jumped into Heroics, had some problems with Triliax. Third week, able to down Triliax, get through the rest of some of the bosses, kept going and kept going. And then we hit Elisand and Gul'dan. We had some problems with those two probably biggest check bosses that we have. Sure. But I am I am prepared to say this week <laughs> we have downed all of the content from Heroic from Heroic Nighthold. Nice. All right. All of it's down. Got nice Gul'dan right. down. Got Gul'dan down on Thursday, went back on Sunday and farmed it. Uh, to try to get some more artifact power and stuff and get everybody going up. So we had a great job. Huge shout out to all the guys on the team. Um, Very cool. We've got a really great group of people. We are still recruiting. I'm going to (laughs) keep until we're full. I'm going to (laughs) keep telling everybody that listens to the show. And like like Pat and uh, Gizmo are saying, this is a great time to come back to the game. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're ranged DPS, especially <laughs> if you're free on Thursday and Sunday nights. Right. Um, and our play on the Alliance side. Um, but yeah, I'm still recruiting. You can uh, uh, tweet at me uh, if you're interested in, in in playing on Asparagus Initiative, and we'll try to get you uh, in contact. And there's also the uh, the application on the CTR uh, guild page if you want to go through that but yeah gizmo if you're coming back to the game we need dps i know you you mage and hunter right i do mage and hunter well that's well. desperately well i mean are we are we have the best mage you know on the server so we don't have to worry about filling that role wait too who's much. that uh, was who's... that mage on convert to mythic that's, that's me no that would be <laughs> How did that's, was that made on convert to I'm mythic? In, I'm incredible. No, <laughs> but uh, no, we could definitely use any any range, any range. I think I've rated with convert convert. They convert to mythic couldn't handle me. Yeah, <laughs> literally they had, couldn't. Uh, they had to let you ride pine just to ha- um, just to be able to this, handle you. Yeah, this yep. guy's just way too much. Awesome. <laughs> That's all right. I got benched. So I mean, can't have. Yeah. I have had high end raiders that have played with us before that have whispered me and being like, "Hey, shark, you're kind of bad, but I <laughs> always want you on my raid team. Hey. You, you make this way too much fun. Everyone uh, sucks at their own level. Yeah, okay? exactly. There's Everyone a, sucks at their. That's yeah. that's I, uh, I, you I, put that on a bumper sticker, man. Yeah. It's true, yeah. Every everyone sucks. <laughs> I love it. Um, but no, we are looking for some range DPS. So all you range classes out there, um, especially any of you that have, uh, and, and that's just not my team. Anybody out there that plays a range DPS class, if you stop playing the game, please come back. Please come back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. There's some uh, like mages, warlocks. There's some really good DPS out there that's just not getting. I know they nerfed shadow priests into the ground. They're trying to fix it. They're not going to, but. Come back. Please I'll, come back. We need I'll, you. I'll tell you what happened to the mages. The mage mount happened. <laughs> I know. Right. I got that today, and I was like, man, I right. wanted to be excited about this, but this is stupid, and I hate it. Oh. I hate the mount. Ma- I hate the mage You mount. know, for every person that really doesn't like their mount is another person that probably doesn't like that same mount. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, a lot of things about how cool the mage mount is. Like, my girlfriend got online the it's... other day and was reading all these posts about like ten reasons why the mage mount's the best mount. And I'm like, listen, Hannah, two days ago you read me a post about ten reasons why Super uh, Spider Man Three is the best movie ever made. Like, I'm not, I'm tired of this trolley garbage you're finding on Reddit. I don't want to read it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, there. <laughs> well, there are there's there's always plenty of misinformation out there. So yeah, welcome to it. And there uh, are people that like the mage mount. I I, I get it, but I'm not a fan. Right. I get it, but you're wrong. No. Mage, right. Mages and pallies got the got the short end of the straw on that one. Shadow yep. priests. Yep. Yeah. I, I like. Well, I don't. I've not seen the shadow priest one, but I like the priest. The, one. Yeah. That's, that, I like. There's it. some really good ones out there. I I I'm kind of digging most of them. Not all of them, but I will them. say I think it's great. And we said this at BlizzCon last year, too. I think it's great that they had something like this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like it's, it's, it's what it is. It's the green fire quest for everybody. You know, everybody gets a little bit of cosmetic something from doing this little. Uh, it was nowhere near as difficult as the green fire quest. But um, I guess maybe the mage, cha- the mage tower challenge is more along those lines. But at the same time, uh, I think it's a nifty thing that you can do. And it's really quick and easy. Yes, um, it was it, it was really quick and easy, and the story was yeah, it was it was there. It was okay. It was good. 
I mean, I, I'm not going to badmouth it. I, th- I thought it was, I thought it was good, and it told a story, and they're doing it for every single class, so that's kind of cool. Um, so there was actually quite a bit of content for that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, way to go, Blizz! Um, Yay! A couple of things before we get into the news part of the news. Uh, first of all, Shark Gathering Storm Tournament. Yeah, we finished it. And after uh, four, uh, three games that we only went three games into the best of five, uh, adults with jobs came out on top, beating accidental B step three and O. Uh, it was a really, really good match. It doesn't sound, it might sound like, oh, adults with jobs steamrolled them. There was a lot of, uh, you know, back and forth in, in all three of those matches. Uh, both teams played really, really well. And so congratulations to both teams to getting there. And everybody that participated, it was really, really cool. But Adults with Jobs came out on top. I didn't play in the final match. I cast it alongside uh, Bo Schwartz. And you can find that VOD on my stream, uh, twitch.tv slash sharku underscore CTR, if you're interested. But yeah, it was really, really, a really, really fun game. Uh, fun tournament to be a part of. And uh, and there you go. So congratulations to Adults with Jobs. They're going to get a little gift package from uh, the communities that were involved in the tournament. And I am hoping to have another one. Um, I want to do this at least annually and then maybe try to get some other tournaments. I have a lot of ideas. I'm trying to be more community oriented um, and do some stuff outside cool. of, you know, outside of the uh the convert to raid community, including sure. the convert to raid community, but you know, be just be out there and do some cool stuff that can get people together and contacted. There's a lot of people that were on this in this tournament that have started five man teams now and that's are going to be doing five man team finder together, that's, like that's weekly awesome. or something. That's awesome. You know, so that's kind of, that's the whole thing. So I have some ideas. We'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to be anything on this scale uh, anytime soon, but I have some some cool ideas that I'm going to be throwing out there in the future. But uh, just want to thank everybody that helped us out. Uh, Geekly Inc., A Move TV, um, Frog Pants, um, all you guys. Uh, and I, I don't have time to list literally everyone that helped out. But uh, thanks, everybody. It was a great event. We had a whole bunch of fun. And congratulations to Adults with Jobs for winning. Yeah. And you're forgetting the most important thing. And I don't have to shave my head. Convert to raid. <laughs> oh, that's true. Victorious. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. We're the hold on a second. dominant yeah. community. There we go. Yeah. Our community is the best community. Thank you guys for being amazing. And so this yeah. is two big community tournaments in a row that uh, Adults with Jobs has won. So yeah. uh, we're going to need everybody else to step up. Step up out there. And I think or one just, of the reasons I was... Or just figure out a way to hobble them. Just figure out a way to like take them out at the knees. <laughs> Coach some of our some, some of our players or something, right. but no. One of the big reasons that I was looking this uh, as I was casting and also looking over the vods and stuff, a lot of the teams I think the mistakes that were made were just because they weren't experienced playing together. And it also has been playing together for like five years or something like that, or three years. The game well, has even been out for five and, years. Yeah, they well they've but, been playing uh, together. The, they've been well, playing together since Alpha, literally. A few a few uh, of them have been playing. Uh, other games, League of, League of Legends, and stuff like that, League for a long and time. Warcraft, and stuff like that, and, and but they've been playing that, together for a while. There were better players on other teams, and I have no problem saying that there were better players on other teams than any of the guys on Adults with Jobs. It has to do. Uh, Here's the storm is a team game, and it's so important to be in sync and to be able to play and know what people are doing, listen to calls, be able to, you know, have yeah. the rotations down. Uh, stuff like that. So I think that if a team was to get together now and be practicing for, you know, however long it takes to get to the next tournament and then get in the, I think that it would not be, not be unseeable to un- dethrone the, the adults with jobs guys. So. Right. Right. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to talk about we'll my see. team, but, uh, yeah, but we yeah, gotta get, uh, we gotta get the, great, uh, uh, we gotta get the, a huge Zord team going. Gotta get that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that, exactly. That boom, boom, pow. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, the other, the other little piece of everything is uh, before we head on into the news part. Before we start talking about seven two five, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to talk about the CTR party, 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 uh, party, <laughs> party. Right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make a sounder for it, but then I didn't. Uh, anyway, but the CTR party Kickstarter is now right currently. It is 90% funded. Yeah! So thanks, everybody, for uh, helping us with this project. We still have some time to go, uh, and uh, we're going to be going through the month of June. 
and into July for the rest of the Kickstarter. Uh, but please uh, help us get to 100% so that we're locked in. We're all good to go for the party. And then let's work towards those stretch goals, which are pretty cool. One of them is um, getting the really large photo booth for, you know, like raid team sized photo booth. That would be really cool. Um, and I really want that to, to be a thing that we can do. Uh, and there are more things along the way as well. So uh, make sure to check it out. There are a bunch of rewards for people. And I know that we've talked about uh, a bunch of the different rewards. Not only do we have gear, but we also have the Convert to Raid Community Coloring Book, which is an adult style coloring book. Last week I was saying it was adult style, but it's not adult style, right? And then I had, I had somebody else uh, write into the show and say, I think you mean... It's adult style, not adult themed. And I said, yes, that is that is correct. It is not. It is it is totally cool for everybody. <laughs> the other one's going to be a stretch goal for some, for something else. No, That's, no, you know, no. We're gonna do... <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, but the coloring book is there, and it's really cool. A bunch of artists from or from around the WoW community have jumped in on that, and it's really turning out uh, very very well. Uh, but again bunch of loot to be had for those guys that uh that participate and if you donate and we hit i think it's our second stretch goal um everybody will get this really cool uh one of a kind uh pin for for yourself you know like the blizzcon pins you got it we're breaking bringing those back if we hit uh, a certain stretch goal so uh check it out see what's going on and there you have it. So now, one of the, yes, what? I, I need to know if one of the stretch goals is getting Sharku dangerously drunk. Is that is no, that in there? Can we? Can no, because we that's, that in that's there? probably going to happen. That's that's not something we have to work toward. Yeah, but I want <laughs> I, I want I want the fundraisers to pay for it. I don't want to have uh, to. <laughs> you, see what, you see where I'm going? I, I see where you're going. I, you might have to go to Indiegogo for that. Okay. No. But, right. yeah. I, oh, that's a good idea. I'll check it out. <laughs> By the way, uh, I forgot to give the link for the CTR party Kickstarter. It's actually convertoraid.com slash party. So party. Yes. Thank you. Now on to the news. As we said previously, patch 7.2.5 is live right now. Oh. Immediately. Where's my where's my audience? There it is. There it is. Oof. There's a misclick on that one. Uh, Gizmo was golf clapping for it. Right. Uh, Gizmo, what are all the gizmos that come along with 7.2.5? Can well, you give us the rundown? Pat, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. There are. And why is there an ad playing on this website? Oh, anyway, boy. you guys can't hear it. Uh, so we have legendary item upgrades are finally here. You can upgrade your legendary items to 970. Like that. There are new legendary items including rings that grant a talent that Tadva talked about a few weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, some changes to mythic plus coming where uh the rewards have been changed and there's no more depleted keystones which is awesome uh, the deaths of chromie scenario is live black temple time walking which is the first time walking raid which will require a pre-made group and dropping item level 900 gear which is great yep uh the trial of style yeah it's a transmog is, thing yep yeah it's it's like an instance thing where it's a group of six and you transmog yourself and then at the end you vote uh who looks the best and you win these tokens that can be used in exchange uh for transmog gear right it's very interesting yep uh there's some heirloom upgrades which is another great good catch that mechanic yes yes uh to scale to 110 Another cool thing, Flight Pass. Heirloom Flight Pass. You can purchase uh, a token that is going to unlock Flight Pass for all your alts, which is amazing, because even though they what? have that little bike now, that's yeah. no, it's really a thing. annoying. It's a thing. I think it's like 10,000 uh, gold. Mm -hmm. for oh, each, are you serious? It's, but, it's, but the 10,000 gold is for each continent, so it would be one for uh, uh, the east side, one for the west side, one for the north, one for the south, one for all the cat stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Something like a that. Lot. So it ends up being quite a bit. But. I'm not I, I, I'm not sure exactly how it's broken down, but I believe it is like that. I need yeah. that. So it's yeah. It's a nice uh, gold sink. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for your for your alts that are level 100 and stuff, it wouldn't be that bad because you just need to buy the one zone. Um, but there's also, guys, the dance party. Uh, the, the dance house. <laughs> it's finally here. Right. It's not quite what we it's thought, no... but there's going to be... It's a micro holiday. Right. And uh, it's, it's going to turn the auction houses, the floor, into a nice little disco floor where you can go in you know, and dance. Disco. Dance, and disco. dance your auction away. Yes. Um, I, <laughs> right. And then, last but not least, for those of you that like playing Pokemon in WoW and pet battling, uh, Deadmine's Pet Battle Dungeon is now open, and that's going to pick up on the story where the Wailing Critters left off. I was never able to get into pet battles. Did, did no, you guys? I, you know, no. I no, I not at all. Um, I, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. I have three at level twenty-five, and they're the wrong three apparently. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's a, me too. I have a I use... stick, a rock, and a puddle, and they just right. do nothing. I just use. I'll just step on them. How's that sound? I'll just step mm-hmm. on the pets. It'll be fine. Uh, no, I. You know, I've never been able to get in. When I heard about pet battle dungeons i was like oh this could be really cool this could be fun and i just haven't even stepped foot in them at all yeah and i think and i think part of that is because there's so much going on in legion that it's really tough to break away from what i know to something that's new um Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. and so you know i'm sure that for those guys that really like to pet battle it's great fun but for me it's a big old zippo there's nothing well, to be had. And it's things like this that I'm actually like excite me now because before all my time was spent, you know, I'd try and go catch some pets and level them up. And then it's like, well, I actually need to be gearing up for it and things like that. Sure. To where now I'm not needing to stay like top tier equipment. So now I can explore and right. maybe just maybe I'll actually get into these pet battlings and the dungeons and kind of the storyline following that now. You still need three viable pets, and apparently I I missed out on it. I have a uh, a bag of nothing. No, I don't know what I don't know what the I don't even know what the pets are. One of them is the <laughs> one of them is the blossoming tree thing because I'm like I'm a druid. I should have that, and of course, <laughs> so I have that one. I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. I have uh, one from AQ. I think that it was like 25 oh, yeah? when I got it, so that was nice. Cool, cool. The one thing that I am really interested in checking out uh almost immediately is the black temple time walking Mm -hmm. uh black temple time walking you have to have a pre-made group to go in and that uh is pretty cool and apparently it's tuned to be just below normal so that pretty much anybody can go in there and get loot have a good time uh not be worried about being stomped uh so and it's the full raid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the full raid. So uh, that would be cool. It, yeah, it's really cool. And I never experienced Black Temple when it was new. So yeah, I, only, I haven't either. I've only gone in, you know, afterwards, after I out level everything and, and blow it all up. So, you know, it'd be nice to struggle a little bit. Mm hmm. Just a little. So because uh, Black Temple's the Illidan fight, right? Right. Yeah. So we did the Illidan fight as Illidan, this expansion. Right. Now we can and do the Illidan fight not as Illidan. Right. Backwards. Now we know what his ability, those three abilities that you just keep on pressing and pressing <laughs> and pressing are. And as soon as the CD is off, then you just press it again. Yeah. So and, I and wanna, I'm hearing here that we have to wait for the Burning Crusade time walking week. Correct. To be able to do Black Temple. So we can't just go do it right now. But yeah, it's I think right like now it's Pan- Panda Land. Yeah, it's right. not like a Karazhan type thing where it's just a <laughs> new raid they put together. It is right. for the time. Only. Right. Yep. Yep. So uh, there's that. The other thing that I tried, so I did a little bit of, I uh, had a little bit of playtime today, um, and I decided to check out the Deaths of Chromie scenar- scenario, and we talked about this last week a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, from <laughs> what I can tell, and I did not finish it because... I ran out of time. Uh, the wife was home today, so there was, uh, you know, the honeydew list just never shrinks. <laughs> right? and so it's just, it's like this constant thing. But um, 
I did kind of hop into the the beginning parts. I went through a, a few of the initial quests before you go into the actual what I would call the actual scenario part of the actual scenario, which is to uh, stop forward. all the yeah, I mean to like fix all the different things that are going on to where you're actually being active in the in the scenario. But um, it was it was kind of cool. It starts off and uh, Chromie dies pretty much right away, and then you try it again, and then Chromie dies Spoilers. pretty much right away. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> It's a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler because it is called the Deaths of Chromie scenario. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So there's a bunch of there's a story behind it and all that kind of stuff, and I can't wait to go back in and and actually finish it. So, cool. so there. Um, anything that you guys are particularly excited about for seven two five? I mean, a lot of helpful uh, little things on here, especially for returning players or or alts. I mean, so. the new raid, that's what I mean. It was not out this week. It's, yeah, it's right. next week before it comes out. But that's Correct. what I I'm that's what I'm most excited about. Definitely. I want to get in there, get new loot, get asparagus initiative rolling and click in on all different levels. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough people to come back to where we're going to be able to recruit some more and uh, and and just really get things going. So that's what I'm getting that rating machine cranked back up again. That's yeah, what I'm ready to do. Yeah, and and uh, speaking of which, I, I know that uh, the Ermagerd Initiative took a, a little bit of a hiatus yeah, at, the, be at the end of we'll Nighthold. And so so we'll need to pick that up again, and, and especially as, uh, uh, you know, for next week, I think we'll be, hopefully we'll be ready to roll. I got to I gotta put the feelers out. I should probably log into my death night. Sure. <laughs> that should be something I should do. Sure, and get that mount. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the Death Knight mount is cool. I might, I might just level up my warlock. And what are we talking about? Are we doing a show? Hello. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you can do whatever you want. I mean, hey, <laughs> you for, can do for whatever Armageddon you Initiative, like. you get, it's open. It's it's an open deal because uh, we've, <laughs> because we're a normals team. That's so. true. Unless we've lost all of our tanks when we come back, and they're like, "Shark, you gotta go blood." No. Well, I'll <laughs> just, I'll just have to go. I'll just have to go bear. And you, oh my and, God! And Pat, me and you will be the best co tanks ever. Now, well, I'm kind of worried about it because now that Mark of Ursal is gone, uh, oh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not as OP anymore. It's okay, be, you can't be as bad as Blood Blood Decays, so we're, we'll be all right. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Oh, speaking of which, um, the because of Mark of Ursal and other little tank changes and and other little class changes as well, um. There were some nerfs to Nighthold uh, that have, I think they have gone into effect now. Um, just to let you know, Gul'dan's health was reduced by 3% on Heroic and Mythic, and Gul'dan's Fell Scythe, uh, Croesus's Searing Brand, and some of Star Augur's abilities, those were reduced by 15%. So they did a, yeah. a big nerf, and it's just to it's just because there are, you know changes you can't can you still get aotc this week or is it was it last week the last week last week it was last week yeah that's what i thought i, with I believe nerfs, ahead of the curve is usually uh before turns the off, patch yeah before the patch um yeah. so uh but that's that's cool and there are a bunch of class changes there are a bunch mm -hmm. and they were talking about a bunch of different class changes i'm not going to go into them all because there are many um, yeah. And, uh, and I know that, um, Laura said that they were going to do, uh, an AMA in a couple of weeks on Reddit. Mm -hmm. So be looking for that. And that's where they're going to list out. Why did you do this? Oh, well, you know, we had to do that because blah, blah, blah. You know, they're, they'll talk about whatever, but I'm guessing a lot of class questions will come up. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, go ahead. Buff rep pallies. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, they I mean, they've already and I imagine the reason they're having the same a uh, within the next couple of weeks, they already are talking about a, you know, hot fix and stuff that's going to be in the works. Um, either, right. you know, coming out sometime soon or within the next week, uh, considering some class tuning. Uh, they're just wanting more data now that the servers are live and they're receiving all the data to kind of make some tweaks to some classes and stuff like right. that. So I don't know. I imagine that might come out. There, it sounded like they were going to get this out pretty quickly uh, before the AMA, and then that can also be in your questions as yeah. to class changes. Right. Uh, yeah. And and they, they they do this all the time. I mean, when they do a lot of different class changes, they 
will release the the patch and then they will um, make changes as needed mm-hmm. over the next week or so um, be- as you know people jump back into Raiden and and jump back into well now Nighthold uh, and try to clean up anything that they were missing so that they can get into uh, into Tomb coming up. Uh, so they'll get a bunch yep. of data and they'll say, oh, well, uh, this isn't quite working the same way, so maybe we should change it and blah, 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 blah. So, so there. So just yeah, I was ready reading something it. that yeah. there, were, there were already some hot fixes that were that they talked about. For example, Windwalker Monks was a big one. They're trying to, because they took away a lot of their damage from their punchy, punch, punch, punch ability. <laughs> ah, um, yeah. oh, the punchy, punch, punch. Yeah, you oh, know, the one that just yeah. looks really silly. It's just like, ah! Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Um, but anyway, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, but, uh, they're like, they're, they're doing like huge or, or wanting to do like huge buffs. They've already done buffs to the rest of their abilities, but they're trying to do even bigger buffs to them, uh, to kind of bring them back in line without keeping that ability. So OP and five mans. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's lots of interesting, interesting things on the horizon. I don't, I don't know how they do it because, uh, really, I think that would be so difficult to try to tune all of the different classes, all the different specs and all of the different classes together in a way that makes yeah. sense. And then, you know, not just for PVE because I mean, PVE is hard enough, but then you do PVP and it's like, I don't, right. I don't get it. Well, and now five mans is such a, a, a different thing than rating right. anyway, because right. with those dungeons, your, your trash damage, AOE trash damage is really more important than your boss damage in a lot of the situations, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's those AOE abilities. If those are out of tune, which before it's been like, ah, oh, whatever one boss fight. Yeah. Okay. Fire mages are going to destroy and blast furnace. But other than that, you know, you never play fire. Um, not yep. never. Anyway, uh, you get my point. Right. Oh, I guess uh, Sin said in the chat room that this is the last week for AOTC. So Ahead of the Curve yeah. is still available this week, but when the raid goes live, boom, it's cut off. Okay. That's what so he says. So get in there. Use that nerf. That's what he says. Um, yes. Oh, and then he also said team ma- team uh, deathmatch, PvP. Uh, I, d- I don't know, Shark, if you played today. Gizmo, you're not even installed yet, little, or you're yeah. just installed. I'm installed now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys should check out this week's Brawl in PvP. It is... So it's a death match? How it is, this? it is... Okay, you're, you you go to an arena, one of the one of the arenas for 3v3 uh-huh. or whatever, but it's not 3v3, it's 15v15. <laughs> and it's just a death match. And it's a and death match. When you die, you die. Yep. Arena style. Yep. That's and awesome. I try, I Speaking try of AOE. It, I tried it a couple of times today, and they said, oh, hey, look at that funny druid with tier one shoulders. Let's make sure to beat the hell out of him. And um, (laughs) I died pretty much right away. Yeah, that's got to be real stressful for the healers. Yeah, it was, it was, run away! Run away! If you're a druid, just trank. (laughs) Sorry, sorry, Dan, I mean, run away! Run away! (laughs) Very, very (laughs) quickly. 15 tanks, yeah, 15 blood DKs. Yeah, fifteen tanks. Ugh. Ugh. Cancer. Ugh, that would be horrible. Um, and uh, I lost one, and I won one. But really, I lost because I was <laughs> the first one dead. I think both times. I'm not sure. You still get I was, honor for the fun. brawls, right? I was I was stun locked for both times. It was just horrible. What? You you still get honor and stuff yeah. for the for the brawls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You still get all that stuff. So, uh, so, so that was. That was um, interesting. I'm not gonna say oh. it was. I'm not gonna say it was fun because it was horrifying. But, mm. <laughs> uh, but it was. But it was. Uh, it was not a bad time. So there. Uh, another little hot fix that we need to talk about that happened yes. today. Not yet. It, it, not yet. It will happen. It's live soon. 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 TM. Soon TM. And actually, that I think that TM is wrong. It's. It, I think it's this week. Uh, there is an artifact knowledge hot fix. Gizmo, what is it? Yes. So first and foremost, if you just finished getting your artifact power and stuff, just plug your ears because <laughs> that might be a little painful. 
Uh, but just understand, you did it. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, but they're going to be reducing the time between artifact knowledge level 26 through 40 to four hours each, uh, which is going to reduce the total time from 42 days to 56 hours. Yeah, that is that stings quite the reduction. That well, stings. I, this is it's great for me. This is for right. This isn't I mean, it doesn't really affect alts. Uh, because you can just go ahead and just buy it now, right? And yeah. buy the um, artifact knowledge. So, yeah. so you can just ah, you can just buy it. But but if if you don't have one guy, if you don't have a guy already at forty, you're kind of screwed. And so returning players are like, well, this is going to be a lot of fun. I don't right so. exactly, and that's it's it's a catch up mechanic for people that are going to co be coming back now. Uh, that might have raided at the beginning of Nighthold and then stopped for whatever reason or, you know, got hit by the summer boss or whatever and is ready to start coming back, but they're so far behind. Well, this will help them catch up. And it's the same problem that we had when they dropped flying down from 40, level 40 to level 20. Yeah. You know, and everybody was like, I, it took me forever. We had to walk everywhere. We didn't even have, uh, or not flying, but yeah, regular mounts. I was going to say, yeah. Just, like, uh, yeah, just regular flying, mounts. Like the fact right, that you right. could get mounts. <laughs> at level 20 right. was blowing people's minds because it was level 40 before they got mounts and they had to walk to Aldemon, you know, or whatever. Right. Um, and people were so upset about that. Um, yep. Well, and it's, and it's always, but gonna, I mean, it's always, it's, it's always going to happen. You know, it's, it's like, it's you, good for the future of the game. People yeah. feel you know, like it's, people feel like they're taking something away from, from their experience when really, no, that's not the case. They're just right. they're just helping somebody else not have to uh, be so far behind the rest right. of the yeah. crowd. So. And we would be complaining if it took that short to get that much. It would have only taken, you know, what what is that a week? Yeah, uh, it's like to a week. get all that artifact power. And we and and then we would have been done. We wouldn't have had to go do artifact cool. power. We would have, like, we would have had bloat or whatever. Well, and, and you still have to. I mean, you still have to go and you have to get all the all, all the resources yeah, the and you have to. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I mean, you're still grinding AP and you're still doing all those different things and you've got plenty to grind. You don't need to grind artifact knowledge. That should be the last thing that you really right. want to grind. Yep. You should be, <laughs> there's so many, that's one of the problems with Legion in, in my opinion is that there's so much stuff to grind, grind out that yeah. it becomes confusing a little bit. Uh, and now Too this is, grindy. this is one thing that is less confusing. So, yep. so thank you, Blizz. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, one more thing for WoW, and this happened last week. There was a developer Q&A with Paul Cubitt, uh, se senior game designer. Uh, Laura was there dishing out questions as per usual, and they covered stuff like the legendary item upgrades, Black Temple time walking. I mean, like, all this, all the stuff for 7.2.5. Chromie scenario, he was, he's not a class guy, so he didn't answer any class questions. But he did try to talk about um, the different raids and Black Temple and, you know, all this other stuff. So um, it was a nice overall look at things. Mm -hmm. um, Giz, was there anything in particular that uh, that stood out for you at all in this? Uh, it's really just good information on everything from 7.2.5. If you're haven't done the chromey stuff yet they're you know they get into more of that spoiler free kind of preview stuff um but yeah it's i'm overall just glad that not only the wow team is doing a lot more of these q and a's but really all the teams at blizzard uh are doing a lot more video production um you know these amas and all sorts of stuff to to keep us as up to date as they can right and kind of and and I would agree. There's nothing particularly fantastic about the the information, but it is nice to be hearing directly from the devs about all this stuff. Yeah, um, it, a lot of it is what they're not planning on doing. They're not planning on adding a third legendary slot. Right. They're not planning on adding a catch up mechanic to uh, um, uh, your order hall champions. They're not planning on adding a third or giving you your third relic slot from the beginning. And I don't know if I agree with, I don't know. I I have issues with some of those things. And I really think they missed the boat with the new legendary rings. Um, just adding yet another legendary that I, we're not, we're not going to go there, Pat. We're not going to 1-800. <laughs> well, isn't this one, 1 the, isn't, chill the F out or isn't whatever. This one, yeah, yeah. 
Isn't this one the one that you can make, though, right? I mean, this is this is a legendary that you make. Is this the one that you make? Or the new rings? No, I think they just drop. Oh, they just drop? Okay. The new rings, yeah. They just drop the All same right. way they always have dropped. What people were thinking is it was going to be like a completion of your class order hall. Mm-hmm. Like once you got to the very end, they were going to be like, oh, and by the way, you here, Archmage, is a new ring for you to wear. And that what you I know. was hoping is that it would not include, not be included in the two legendaries. You know, you know what I mean? Just a little something that gave you an extra talent. And there you go. It's a nice little thing that even the most casual of casual players can have your little bump. But, you know, I seem I to know. I seem to remember that I that I have already a legendary ring from a previous expansion. I'm wondering if I could just put that on and then yeah, just right. have it be totally cool. Yeah. And I have a legendary. I have a best in slot legendary ring actually on my mage. But yeah, I don't know. I just the people's like said, ring. Let's not go back into <laughs> Shark, you just you need to get into the fantasy of it. So just imagine yeah. you are the mage. Does it make more sense to be like, oh, holy I I slayed this demon and here is this awesome ring that's gonna help me save the world? Or there's a ring in a box that some dude at your class order hall says, Hey, this is gonna help you save the world. But I'm not going to give it to you until you get you legendaries do all these things of, I want. You get legendaries off of Blingtrons. Hey, I'm done. done. You don't I'm know done. where that Blingtron has been. You no, don't know he could right. have picked it's, it up. Right. It's no. I'm done. So it makes no slay, sense. Don't so you try slay to go the war. beast. It's awful. So you slay the beast. You get the ring, and then you say, "Okay, well, if I." If I want to put on the ring, then I got to take one of these <laughs> things off and I got to replace it with something worse. So do I take right, the ring exactly. or do I not? Let's go on Ask Mr. Robot and figure and it all out. It's just a bunch of drops that you're not even going <laughs> to use in a sense. It takes you forever to get to the one that you need to use. And I don't That's know. That's too far into the fantasy. Come back a little bit. Oh, too, too far. Happy too far. It's, happy it's garbage. When, I, when I'm out on the <laughs> battlefield and I'm looking up Ask Mr. Robot and uh, trying to decipher whether or not I want this as a yeah. best in slot or, you know, whatever. So, yeah. But that quest line, like your order (laughs) hall, your entire order hall quest line is a long quest line that took us this entire expansion to complete. I don't think it is stretching it to think that a legendary item would be a bad option for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I would punch that dude in the face. Be like, dude, I am trying to save the world. Give it to me now. I don't need to. I don't Maybe. need to clean well, this you all have up. To, you have to do all this to stuff to 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 find it, to unlock it, to whatever. You know, it's a oh, quest. As long as they build it in, I just want the fantasy. It's all I want. Yeah. No. I. I. I you know what? That's a good point. I. Had a, I don't want it to be like, hey, champion, thank you for logging in today. Here's a legendary. Just, that doesn't mean that's awful. <laughs> no, yeah, that was the, that was the, that was the last couple of expansions, wasn't it? Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Darn shipyard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, blaming the shipyard. Yeah. Oh, the shipyard. Yeah. Was, was you hot sunk hot. my battleship. Oh no! All right. Anything else for WoW that uh, you guys wanted to touch base on? Because I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff, but I mean, seven two five is out now. Lots of nice little touches in there. Uh, but I think everybody's still waiting for the raid next week. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'll have more to say once I can actually get in to seven point two point five. That's. So. Right. Let's get a let's get a new expansion working so we can put all this legendary garbage behind us, please, anytime soon. There's still gonna be more. No, I know, I know. <laughs> There's still more. There's still Argus or whatever. I just I need I need so I need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Sure. It's killing me. I hate, I hate, hate, <laughs> real hate. But you know what? I said I wasn't gonna go there and I'm gonna stop that. We can move on. But I went there anyway. I did. Um, so, Sorry. Uh, so I think we'll move on to other games. I've got a couple of quick updates, and then we'll get into some hero stuff. Um, but a couple of quick updates. One is for Overwatch. Oh, rubbish. No, not rubbish. Uh, Horizon Lunar Colony, as we talked about uh, previously, is coming next week, June 20th. So uh, get ready for that. I'm going to play the big applause. And there is a, uh, for those guys that, 
want to take a look and see how they did it and how the developers created all this stuff, there's actually a really cool video that they posted on the launcher. So you can go see it and they will talk about uh, like all the different things. It's mostly indoors. Uh, the There are these cool airlocks that will open as you approach. So it's just like going to the grocery store. Not really. Uh, and... <laughs> there's and there's also a <laughs> I just I just came for some grapes man I just want I just want that <laughs> I see there's peanut butter over there so I'm uh, I'm good to go Ooh peanut butter <laughs> that's right and there's also uh what looks to be kind of a cool low gravity area as well so um very very cool I don't know if you guys saw the video but it's it looks pretty pretty uh stunning as always um, so it's you can go out of this world. It, uh, I'm just gonna leave that for a second, just to uh, just let it simmer. Just sigh. enjoy it, accept it, and <laughs> move on. That's right. <laughs> uh, and w once that goes live, so next week we'll have. Uh, I'll see if John can come back in and and talk more about uh, that map and what it is and and how it works and all those different kinds of things. But it looks really cool. So make sure to check out the video on the launcher when you can. Also, there is a new uh, figure in the Blizzard gear store, the Figma Tracer, which is uh, like posable. You know the 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 old, well, the original Tracer statue that they had, where mm -hmm. she, there's like zooming around and running mm -hmm. and ah, you know, where she's uh, where she's saying ah, oh, rubbish. Not that one. That's the only one that I have. Oh no, I have this one too. Should we nip to the pub? That sounds pretty good. Should uh, we what to the nip, what's it? Nip, nip to the pub. She went high with her voice, though. She needs to nip bring to it pub. down. Right. right. That's for, for Dan. We should bring it down a notch. Bring it down, <laughs> Dan. Bring it down. Uh, but this one's posable. So this one's posable. It actually comes with three different faces and accessories and all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, it's kind of cool. I don't know. And it's uh, 70 bucks on the Blizzard gear store. Go check it out. Uh, and then, not much to really say there, although uh, I'm sure we could, but we don't have to. Overwatch, it's a game. I'm sure we'll have a lot more when Lunar Colony comes out. Yes, when we actually get yes. To play it. And, yes, yeah. when we can play it, we'll get back to you on all that stuff. Uh, and then Hearthstone, well met. Minor bug fixes. That's all I got. Okay, so Bam. <laughs> moving on. I know. Moving, moving on. on. Eight point two point two. What a patch. <laughs> Uh, so now we'll move on to Heroes of the Storm. Turned up to 11. Mm -hmm. uh, Gizmo. Uh, yes. Malthale. Malthale. Uh, he is out. Right. He's out now. Um, what do you, yes, he is. What do you think? Uh, I think he's awesome. So I got I played like five games with them uh, with streaming before the show. And he is the feel for that hero is very different. You know, obviously they all feel different, but uh, they did a really good job, I think, of kind of taking this non-playable character from Diablo uh, and really making him feel like kind of what you would think. It's kind of slow moving. His uh, E, which kind of shoots out a, a shadow forward uh, after a short delay to uh, mark enemies with his trait, uh, which is pretty much the whole point of his kit, uh, is kind of hard to hit, but it's just, it's really, I, I don't know how to describe it, like slow moving uh, terror, like you would expect death to be. So he's been really fun. Probably not the greatest quick match hero. Oh, really? Uh, he's yeah, he's very right squishy. Uh, yeah, he's very squishy, and he's really good against uh, beefier characters. So like, uh, sure. if you're going against two tanks, he feels awesome. As uh, and... Yeah, but if you are yeah quick match and there's no tanks and you, no healer, good luck. It's going to be a little rough. Um, but Shark, have you played him as well? I have not. I played with him on my teams. Okay. Um, but I wasn't feeling like waiting 15 minutes for a queue. It was like uh, to get minutes. into. <laughs> gotcha. Now when I was playing, I looked at it and it was like 600 seconds, and I'm like, yeah, I know that's only five minutes, but. That's it's like the max in, or 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> 10 minutes. Thank you. What math? Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I haven't had a chance to play him yet. Um, 
but yeah, he's I what I do know is that he is great for the tank meta right now, the double tank meta. Mm-hmm. Um it's forcing people not to to either ban him or play around him. Uh, if you want to take two tanks, which has been very popular recently uh, on your team, uh, you have to worry about Malthiel and um, Greymane. Uh, a Malthiel Greymane combo with tanks is stupid. The two of them can basically two shot you as a tank. Wow! Uh, in this game, you've got the bullet, wow. which takes like, half of your life, and then the Malthiel ult that takes. A hundred percent of whatever's left of your life, or something like that, or it half of whatever's left of your 50% life. Fifty percent of what's left of your life. So for that ultimate to kill somebody, they have to be at thirty-three percent health or less. 30, yeah, thirty-three percent health or less. So if you hit somebody with a bullet and then get a couple uh, auto attacks off from Gray Main and then hit them with uh, anyway, it's it deletes like the highest health heroes possible. That's, Just that's deletes them. Cool, to Chogall is is like if someone drafts Chogall, ever drafts Chogall, take Malthiel and Greymane and Karazim, and there's no way, no one will win. No Chogall in the history of this game can beat those three <laughs> heroes. That's what I'm saying right I now. I love Chogall. Yeah, uh, I always have to play Gall though. I have to make um, somebody else steer. And play Cho. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I like to do it too. I'm like, no, I'll just do all the damage and you right. do all the work. I'm that's I'm right. fine with that. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he feels amazing. It, it'll be interesting. I'll, the internet right now is either crying, oh, he's OP, underpowered OP, OP. and garbage, or else, oh, he's, yeah, OP. But I think he is just kind of a, a niche hero that's going to fit in as a duo tank uh, counter. Right. But also dropping with him today were a lot more um, cosmetics in the game that were shown in the kind of in-development video. Uh, everything except for the summer stuff. Okay. That stuff is still locked. But um, as far as like the murky skins, Sylvanas skins, um, some of the portraits, uh, and I think a few banners are out now that you can uh, use your loot chests on. And just a suggestion for those out there, um, a lot of people are doing this now, including me, is it's really easy to get chests. So, you know, if you don't, get what you want um don't open them up after each time you level i saved mine up from the launch of 2.0 until this event to open them all so i had like 30 loot crates to open and i got mouthfeel but i didn't have to buy him it was great and then i got uh, one of his new skins i got two of sylvanas's new skins i got the sir murky or sir Merkalot skin oh nice uh, and amazing stuff the only things i didn't get that i wanted were the whimsy shire mounts which are incredible but i got enough shards to where i can craft those so save those up and yeah the the summer items will be coming at a later it's so so weird to hear that type of thing coming from heroes of the storm because i mean if if you know being a player in the from the beta uh it's it's just so weird to hear about crafting things and doing all that kind of stuff and you know not it just save the game. Not just not just going through and uh, I gotta buy a hero. All right. <laughs> so yeah, it, I mean it's it it's awesome. Like yeah, that was the first legendary I got from these. Was oh, like I almost bought Malthiel, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna open up my chest first. Oh, there he is. There he Look is. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Uh, That's very cool. Uh, yes. What? So what else is going on with uh, with heroes? Yes. Uh, so. Yeah, season one of 2017 has ended, and uh, of course the were the por- portrait rewards and the mount rewards. The mount was the battle raptor, which is awesome. Uh, season two begins here uh, or has begun, and the mount for that is the Earthbreaker Grizzly mount, which is which, stupid cool. Oh uh, yeah! Oh my god, that thing is that thing is great. It it reminds me of everything in Blast Furnace. Uh, yeah, in that in that instance, yeah, and uh, it's just it looks so cool, so it's, cool. I actually like the regular version more than the epic version of this mount, which is cool yeah. because that way, I mean, it's you can get the regular version either by getting platinum in Hero League or just playing your ten placement games in Team League. Um, so just grab one other friend and you can queue as uh, two. Um, 
And then also, you know, if you want that extra reward, you can get master to get the epic mount. But uh, it's nice not being sad because I'm like, oh, man, the really cool one is way out of my reach. Right. Yeah. No, it's, it's right here. It's so, so hard to get. Ma- I, I, yeah. Yep. One to day. get master level it's... at anything. Maybe. We'll see. Probably not for me. I'm too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, too, I'm goldly garbage, man. Too bad. Uh, and then the other thing here, uh, the Heroes team has been doing these for a little bit now, the new core concepts. There's one out that's on team leveling, and this is part one. And this is really cool. I know there's a lot of you from the Convert Trade community who, you know, some have tried heroes, some are, you know, scared to try heroes. Check these things out. They're really cool and kind of just explaining uh, and taking you through kind of how the concepts of the game work and giving you some tips. Uh, This one covers, you know, how the leveling system works compared to other MOBAs, talks about uh, early game, mid game, late game, and gives you some tips for helping your team get those levels. Um, So they're just really, really neat out here. And the Heroes 2.0 relaunch is just amazing. It's it's like the game's launching now. So if you haven't hopped in, check it out. Right. Do it. And the other reason to do it is for all for the Diablo stuff, too. Yeah. Because that's that's still going on the the crossover stuff. Uh, when does that end? That uh, it just started today, and it will end on June twenty sixth. So and that, that is playing fifteen right. games with a friend as a Diablo hero. Right. So, uh, and we've seen that before, and it's you get some cool loot, and there's uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff going on. So, as always, uh, let's see anything else for any of the games before we head into esports. I think nope. we should just head into esports. Now we're cooking with gas. Yes. Uh, now there, I think the only things going were the WoW Arena North America Cup and HGC, I believe. So that I know. Of. So Gizmo, uh, what happened with HGC? So HGC, it is the mid-season brawl right now. Um, it has in, been going on since this in weekend. In lovely it- Sweden. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that city. I was going to, and then I no, looked at it. No, nope. Yeah. Uh, do it. <laughs> but it's going to through the 20th. They're still in group stages right now, um, which, of course, is the top six, 12 teams uh, from the world to narrow it down to the top eight teams to go into their Phoenix bracket. But uh, I haven't been able to catch a lot of these except or during the week because they're like starting at 8 a.m., which is when I'm at work. Right. But uh, from what I, the games I have seen and watching some of the VODs, this is some of, if not the best competitive heroes uh, we've ever seen. You know, of course, people are expecting Korea to come out super dominant in MV Black or MVP Black is doing so in their group or MV uh, they're Black. M- MV, MV Black. MV Black is is a bunch of dentists. <laughs> they got together. <laughs> MVP Black's just too hard, too long. So MV Black. Um, MV Black. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They're doing uh, leading their bracket right now at, at nine and one, uh, with Fnatic in second, and then uh, Rule Twenty Esports, which was Team Eight and Nomia from Australia, yep. have the top four spots right now to make it on. That can still change. And then the other group, L Five, which was Ballistics at BlizzCon this last year, that won and has been super dominant. The record is five and three right now. In China, Eastar Gaming is actually leading that group with Tim Digni- uh, Dignitas. Digni- Dignitas. Dignitas. Yeah, there we go. Like, Dignitas. It's, it's, every time I'm on a podcast, MV Plaque like, and Dig and D- 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 Dignitas. Dignitas. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anytime I'm on a podcast, there's certain words I will not ever pronounce correctly. If I'm just having a conversation, it's fine. It's pronounced but- Forsythia. No, go ahead. It's a it's a plan. <laughs> no, the the new issue is Malfurion and Malthale because I say Malf and Mal Malthiel, not Malthiel. Yeah. Um, gotcha. No, Got him. Don't, don't do it. But L five, which is ballistics, is in third place, which is a huge. No one saw that coming. Uh, but both Korean teams, both uh, European teams, and both North American teams are still at this time in the running to make it in the bracket uh which is awesome very cool very cool yay uh and i know i i caught a couple of the vods for the wow arena cup 
uh, for North America. This is the number three for the for the trip to BlizzCon and all that kind of cool stuff. And uh, Tempo Storm took down Union three to one in the in the um, grand finals on Sunday. So uh, so they're going to BlizzCon, I believe. Woo! So yay! Winners! Tempo Storms going to BlizzCon? No. I, th- I think they were all planning on going anyway. And and my sure. my my unfortunate admittance is that I only watch Arena at BlizzCon. That's the only way yeah, to do I, it. I, I, I can't watch it at home. I'm I, like, I just want to play. I don't catch it. I don't catch it at when it's usually live. So I have to go back, and if I know who won, it's. I mean, it's like any sports game. Yeah. You know, it's if if you know who won, it. Automatically, you're like, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just but even skip watching it. See what's even watching on. it live at home, like I can sit at home and watch football all day long. Uh, I can sit at home and watch. Here's the storm all the time. Sure, but arena, it's not. It's it's, it's not my thing. But when you're there with people that care, and you're hanging out with your buds, and you're watching people do crazy stuff, and you can kind of follow what's going on, um, all of those things have to be combined. <laughs> Right. For me. Well, and one, I, of, it's, yeah. one of the things that one of the things that uh, I realized about WoW Arena versus every other game when you go head to head, it's WoW Arena is like the most frenetic chess mass, m- match you've ever seen in your life. Like yeah. there is so much stuff going on and you can't tell what it is. And the moves go very slowly. So it's not like, so it's not like, I mean, with Hearthstone, you understand they're going to take the entire time to pick their, to make their moves, right? Whatever right. You can follow the game. It's going to be, see thir- it's going to be 30 seconds and you're going to see three moves or, or whatever from this player. And it'll be very well thought out and it'll be very calculated Ooh. and all this kind of stuff. And in PVP, everybody's moving around really super fast and you don't know exactly what's going on, but it is a chess match. Yeah, and, and you have to listen to the announcers. You know, it's like yeah, I just yeah, it's yeah, oh. and it's and it's really, it's okay. So aesthetically, it's very um, I don't know, like it's kind of it's kind of beautiful the way that everybody moves around and dances around, but I can't tell necessarily what's going on. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all the kind of de evolution for me as far as esports like heroes. I know what's going on. I know how to read it. I know what the announcer is saying. Wow PvP, I don't know what's going on, but I can watch the announcers and hear it just because I've always been in the raider mindset. So sure, I yeah. I cannot it's too late for me at this point where I'll never be able to <laughs> but grasp it, but the you wild understand PvP. enough about the game to be able to know right, you know, oh, yeah. you only get I'll, one right you and know, I'll be able and to a sacrifice or whatever. I'll yeah. be able and to understand the different moves and as long as somebody's leading me through it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's but I love watching it live at BlizzCon. And then yeah. there's StarCraft, which no, I, I don't understand what they're doing. Nope. I don't understand <laughs> what the casters are saying. Nope. But it's really fun to watch a BlizzCon. I remember it my is. first year at BlizzCon, I went to check it out. And literally, a match lasted 10 seconds long. And everyone starts going nuts. And I see victory come out across the screen. I'm just like, what happened? What? Wow. What? And I had to tap me on the shoulder. And they're like, oh, he misclicked on his resources. And it's just, it's over. It's, it's over, over at that over. point. It's over just, already. It's what? over already. People uh. are going nuts. And the stage is awesome. So it's just there's something about but live esports all that of the all of those stages are completely amazing at BlizzCon. Mm-hmm. And if you ever if you if you guys ever go to BlizzCon, make sure to check out all those different stages because they are super super cool. Um, yeah, and the esports and there's just phenomenal. And they're and they're packed out. Oh yeah. half the time, like just completely packed out, especially for finals. Like it's almost impossible to get there and you can't even get standing room because they've got to keep moving keep it moving you know so right right all Um, right uh anything else for esports or anything else that you guys want to talk about before we uh get the heck out of dodge start start wrapping it up Eh, we'll start wrapping it up are we in dodge uh not anymore (laughs) 
It's, <laughs> by the way, okay. By the way, yeah. it's Yun Yun Shoping, oh. Sweden. All right. I All right. I Wikipedia'd it. I'll never say that right. Nope. Yun Shoping. Nope. Uh, and I'm sure that that's even wrong. We'll have to get uh, Trekkie in to, to I'm 100% decipher it. Sure. So, fellas, what are you going to be up to in the next week or so uh, that that uh, the listeners might be interested in? Gizmo, we'll start with you. Uh, I do this other little show called Lords of the Storm. It's just it's about Heroes of the Storm. You know, come on over, hang out. It's Wednesday nights at uh, 9 p.m. Central. Yeah. Uh, and also, now that I have my stream back up and going again i'll be streaming a lot so if you guys want to check out some heroes of the storm patch uh 7.2.5 or some PUBG, i'll be streaming a lot throughout uh this next week to kind of get everybody's my doing the PUBG. it's so good i tried taking it through john or john through it yeah i don't think i don't i'm not sure it's hit for him so you know what <laughs> well <laughs> it's for me now you gotta now you gotta say what happened what happened he Maybe. just, I mean, it's, uh, it's, the game just takes a while to get used to. I don't think sure. he likes the slow pacing because he's used to Overwatch, which you get in, sure. shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. Uh, but yeah, I'll get him. All right. I'll get him. All right. Just like I'll get him in Heroes. But that's at twitch.tv slash Gizmozord. Yep. And on Twitter, you're at, at Gizmozord. Uh, yep. Shark, how about you? You got anything? Are you just relaxing, getting over the cold, getting over the tournament and all that kind of good stuff this week? Well, next week, I'm going to be in beautiful Orlando, Florida, visiting my brother who works for Disney World, and I get to go to the Disney World theme park. All of them at the same time, whatever rides I want to ride, I get to ride them. I still have to stand in line. That's awesome. But yeah, so (laughs) I'm doing all that uh, summer fun. Cool. Um, Hanging out with the lady and doing all that. But yeah, I'll be around. Uh, Tweet at me. Uh at Sharku underscore CTR. Uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Sharku underscore CTR. I've been streaming the Asparagus Initiative rates, and I'm going yeah. to try to keep doing that every week, uh, every time we're rating um, for cool. just fun. Get awesome. in on the action. Uh, you're at work, and you can't you can't raid with us because you have to work nights, and you just want to hang out with us and goof off and chat. We can we can do that. It's a lot of fun. Um, so cool. hang out with us there. I'll try to be streaming some more for other stuff as well. But uh, awesome. That's where you find me. Sounds good. Uh, one one little note. I want to say happy birthday to Mage Death. It's his birthday today, Tuesday. Uh, happy birthday to you. He does. Uh, he's doing more Hearthstone streams and stuff like that. Uh, so you can mm-hmm. check him out uh, doing that kind of stuff. He's a uh, he's a. Uh, a nice addition to the CTR community over there. And Dan Dan wanted to wish Major Death a happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Thanks. Mage. Thanks, Dan, for the happy birthday. Thanks, right. Dan. I'm going to bail on that. I'm going to play this. Uh, you guys can join in on the conversation with us at any point. If you have something you would like to say, if you have a comment on the show, like Dan, if you <laughs> if you want to say that my that the low voices now that's grating on you that's please right in uh, you 2017 can, Pat vo- low voices are in low voices are in all right you can email us at convert to raid at gmail.com you can call and leave comments and questions on our raid line 612-787 raid that's 612-787-7243 you can join the bazoo the, the bazooba guabo nation i got uh, gizmoed on that one i couldn't say it <laughs> uh by heading over to convert to raid.com where we have show downloads discord infos videos audios all that kind of stuff all the guild stuff to convert to raid.com we're also on apple music or Apple Podcast, not Apple Music, uh, YouTube, iHeartRadio, uh, and uh, the rest of the internet. I think I think that's the way it goes. Uh, uh-huh. Convert to Raid is produced and distributed by Signals Media. Make sure to check out all of our friends on the Signals Media All-Star Network at SignalsMedia.com. And uh, guys, thank you. Uh, Twitch folk, thank you. And all of you guys at home, in the car, wherever you are, thank you so much for joining us uh, on another stellar night as patch 7.2.5 strikes Azeroth right in the face. Uh, But that is going to do it for the show. (laughs) Thanks so much for joining us once again. And from all the guys at Convert to Raid, bye-bye, everybody. 
Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Eat it, Dan. <laughs>